one of its worst campaigns in its history so far located all the way at the bottom of the table 27th out of 28 teams possible alongside juan ignacio mendez farther up the offensive setup with adam barreiro as the striker Ezequiel Ceruti as the right wing, and Emmanuel Insua, both former Boca Juniors fullbacks. Matias de los Santos from Uruguay and the wonder kid Valentin Gomez are the center back. He's admiring the San Lorenzo kids, that's what it is. Oh, take it forever. There it is. There's the whistle, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this beautiful journey. United Minutes goal soccer on the way. It's San Lorenzo versus Vélez continuing round 24 in Argentina. On the far right, once again, the chance for Julian. Ball into the middle, here's Walter Bo trying to turn, trying to look for an option. A chance of a shot from long range in the ball. Controlled by Batasha, who had no problem whatsoever. Now Gomez. Nisua making his way up, looking to find space to cross. A good defensive action there by Shiai. As he gets in the way of number three. Good cross, nevertheless, into the area! And Batasha not able to clear it. Ball still alive, another chance of a shot into the middle of the box as the ball is cleared first by Zapata and later on. That's where you need Braida to help out make it a run into the middle. Also either Elias or Mendes helping out to fill in those spaces in the middle there in case Siripi and Barreto are marked in the area. Just a second and yes, indeed it is. Here's a good run by Xiai. Finding Ceruti back towards Agustin. Picking up his head, putting this one into the middle. Now win! Oh. What a chance. It's going to be a goal kick. Yep. And we were talking about Barrios and Braida on the left side. Well, Ceruti and Jai just did that on the right side. And Barrios, you see his hand up, he's waiting for. So at home, it's important to be solid defensively. Be aggressive in attack, but solid defensively. Careful with this one, the chance on the far left and the chance of a shot! And a good response by Batasha. Yeah. And then but how does he get all that space? Up. You see G... Yeah. How does he have all that space in front of him if they're playing a back line? There's a ball into the area. They get rejection by Barreiro. Both who grabs it right at the edge of the area! Ha, 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 ha. Barrios. Now Braida picking up his head and putting a long ball. This one seems to be good. The control by Ceruti looking for help. Here is Ezequiel. And their response by Leo Burian. Excellent save and also what a beautiful shot. Great control. Look at holds it up. He waits to see if anyone is coming. Barreto was marked and a little late arriving. Sarnesa looking to grab one right before halftime. Let's see if they can do it. Here's Osorio, getting, that's going to be a yellow for Zapata, oh, yeah. right? Right? Yeah, he pulled the shirt, yeah. And Paragua, look for Barreiro, that's what the coach is asking for here, Ceruti. Ooh! Is that going to be our third yellow? That's shitty, yeah. Ooh, you know what, he does get the ball there. Your final halftime result. Zero goals, George. Your analysis. Yeah, I, yeah, I like how this first half ended with both teams. They the first 15 minutes, very crowded table, and that sounded in. So of course, that with a victory would move on to 34 points. There is the whistle, and the journey continues in the Nuevo Gasometro. This is match week 24 in Argentina, alongside George Metellus. They're trying to win fouls in the midfield for no reason when there's space available. Here's going to be another card, and this time it's going to be uh, Agustin Xiai. I thought he was, the you know, second half I played well throughout the course of the match. I don't think he doesn't look tired or, or spent. I, I don't understand that move. Taking the spot of number seven. Looks like Eluso Lucas Prato. We go. Also ready to make his way in. Andre Bombergar taking the spot of Adam Barreiro. And Lucas Prato taking the spot of Walter Bow. Those are your substitutions. Mm.
Luca Orellano taking the spot of Julian Fernandez. Here's Osorio finding Insua. And now the shot by Orellano, very weak. And there it is, Javier Osorio yeah. leaving a spot to Santiago Castro. Another substitution in Vélez. Bombergar making his way down the right side. That's yeah. going to be a foul, and it's going to be something else as well. Ooh, is that the second one from low. Santi Castro? That is the second oh. one. In the 86, and Belis will play the remaining minutes with the men down. Yeah. The, the issue with Gomez is, you see, the ball, he turns. The reason he picks up the yellow is because he turns. You force something of a save from Burian, but that wasn't even close. Here's Malcolm Breda. And a couple of men inside of the area. This one's going to be a long cross. Oh, I think it ended up being a free kick, and it's going to be a yellow card as well. And now the impeccable chance for San Lorenzo to win it at the end. Ball coming into the area, rejected. And now Khalil Elias is going to be the one picking it up. Here's a long one once again looking for Bombergar. Good rejection. As Braida tries to put this one back into play. Now Zapata with a shot, the deflection along the way. The referee who gets in the way of it. Merlo supplies the advantage law on this one. Another chance for San Lorenzo. Pushing and pushing. Looking for the winner. Good ball towards Michael Braida into the box. One Bergar. No, 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 no